morning, everybody. Last year I stood up here and I was pretty nervous. A new event in a huge town like this, is it gonna work? Everybody asking me, what's it gonna be like? What's this, what's that? And all I could say is, you're gonna like it. Well, it worked for the hard work of Janet, the Alliance, the mayor, everybody else. But we're not stopping at what was accomplished last year. Last year's the beginning steps, and now we're gonna start going up this ladder. We made a great foundation, and now we're gonna build a house that everybody's gonna to wanna to come see for many, many years. This year, the PRCA, the Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association, which is a sanctioning body, is like the NFL of football. They realize how important Atlantic City is. With the first year, you became in the top 25% of the rodeos of all the United States. That's a great accomplishment for the Atlantic City. <laughs> By doing that, the PRCA has realized it's very important to educate people and they're sending out for the first time east of the Mississippi River, and that's a long ways away, their educational hall about rodeo. They're gonna have interactive sports for kids, fans, spectators to do. There'll be the actual equipment the contestants compete on that they can touch and feel. Uh, there'll be ropes and things like that. So the PRC realizes the importance of Atlantic City to the future of the rodeo business. Along with that, the contestants, they say, well, where do the contestants come from? Last year, we were very fortunate that Shane Proctor was here in the bull riding. He won the event, 92 points. He went on to win the world in the PRC in the bull riding. If he would not have won Atlantic City, he wouldn't have had his title. So those things are all wonderful. So this year, what we're bringing to town is a day camp. It's on Saturday, and it's for anyone that wants to pre-register, and it'll be hands-on of the safety, the shoot procedures, and everything it takes to be a rodeo contestant. So those are just some small things that are going on. Butch Kirby, world champion bull rider. He's gonna be here to sign autographs. He's gonna do appearances throughout the week before. Um, what we're gonna do this year is after each event, each performance, the person that was the high point or the fast time will be given a buckle right there. From there, they'll go to an autograph section. So during the whole rodeo at all times, there'll be an award given and the people understand a little more what goes on within a rodeo. I would like to introduce Liza Cartmel, president of the Atlantic City Alliance. Thank you, Janet. Um, I just wanted to tell you how much I appreciate the opportunity to really be a part of the revitalization of Atlantic City more broadly, first and foremost. Um, you know, Atlantic City is really a very special place. You know, people really can come and they have an opportunity to totally kick back or they have an opportunity to totally kick it up a notch. It's really up to you to decide what you want to make of the experience when you come to Atlantic City. Eliza and all of the folk at the uh, Alliance, thank you for getting on board. And in his absence, uh, we must tip our hats to Dennis Gomes, uh, who was the visionary uh, last year with the Strategic Planning Committee and convincing all of us that this was a step in the direction that we needed to go. So thank you, Dennis. Uh, to all of our friends at the... To all of our friends at the PRCA, welcome back to the great city of Atlantic City. Thank you for believing in us. And certainly we want to do all that we can to make your efforts worthwhile. And certainly to everyone else who has had anything or everything to do with bringing this uh, event back to Atlantic City, thank you for the role and the part that you played in making this such a wonderful thing for everyone to enjoy. God bless you all.